Today we're working on the, you guessed it, 35 Chevy. Going to do some more wiring. And uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to paint a roll cage. Uh, yeah, so stick around, guys. Like, subscribe, and all that good deal. Talk to you all soon. right, guys. Next thing on the list is the sand and uh, prep these um, sides for the, uh, for the hood. Uh, they've got a few dints in them. Um, I don't think a bit of separation here of the metal. Uh, right here, so I've got to repair all that. It's got dints in it. Um, it's going to take a while because um, it's got all this paint that's flaking off. Um, all this sort of stuff, always a bit of a nightmare. Sure, I can go get it sandblasted, but um, as you can see, it's coming off pretty good. So it, um, it'll it'll come off, and I'll just get in there with a hand sander, a bit of paper, and it'll come off. But uh, obviously, they haven't prepped it. Just these edges here are all pretty pretty rough and like I said, there's some separation of metal here. So I'm gonna start with that. There's one there, there's another one there and as you can see, the inside's pretty rough of that too. Same, they just never prepped it. All the stuff's coming off and the hood is over here. Um, over there, so same with that. Sand all that down and get it all prepped, primer. Uh, I'm sure it'll take a while, so I'll start with that over there. So guys, I um, sanded that um, side panel down um, and there is a lot of work to be done on it. It's got a, as you can see, there's a crease there, there's damage on this corner. There's some metal separation uh, right on this end, if I can get close enough. I started doing the inside as well sanding the inside and I think the guy that owns the car said don't worry about doing the side panels just do the uh, just do the hood for now uh, that took a long time to sand all that off sure I can blast it but these things here are, are so flimsy um, the whole panel's flimsy that uh, by the time we took it took it somewhere to get blasted and they uh, blasted them um, it would have been uh, just as uh, long to do it by hand and not risk damaging it so we decided uh, to start on the in inside hood which um, I think this and that have been done at different times. Uh, what I mean by that is I think this hood because um, the primer that's on the inside of this is different primer it's really soft it's not sticking where this one here is actually um, really bonded really good to the metal. It had some scratches in it, so I got rid of all the scratches, and um, I'll recoat it with um, our Robello primer, um, give it a nice new uh, coat of primer on it. So I'm gonna flip that over now, I'm gonna sand the outside of it, and I think it's pretty dent free. I think it might have a, little, a few little steps in it. Um, I can feel one right here, you can actually see that it's been, uh, it's got a couple of dents there, but uh, it's got stuff like that. There's nothing big on it. So I'll sand it and then um, I'll, I'll come back after I sand it and see what's gonna be done. All right, guys, sanded the uh, uh, the top of the uh, hood off. Uh, yeah, it looks all right. Uh, it's pretty straight. There's a few ups and downs in it. Um, nothing bad. Um, something happened here to this. Uh, these are all highs in red, they're all high. So all these, this is high, but I think they try to bang some stuff down here because these are pretty low. Sometimes if something uh, gets hit up, you know, like from underneath, this metal here would go up into that and, and create a low, um, if you know what I mean. So these feel low, but when these go down, I'm gonna ha hammer and dolly all these down. This should flatten out somewhat. I'm gonna put some filler here anyway. I'm not scared to put anything on there. It'll be just a skim to smooth it out. But first I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tap all these down. Over here too, same. Uh, the reds all highs and you know and created low spots. And uh, this corner here is a bit uh, probably this was lifted up at one stage, so that's a bit of a high spot. I'm just gonna tap these down. And again, I'm gonna put some filler on there just to smooth it out. Um, other than that, the rest of it's pretty good. There's no, there's nothing. It's pretty straight. Considering there's a big hole in the middle, um, you know, you would think because, but having a hole here now, you think this will probably bend here, you know what I mean? But uh, it's still pretty good. And uh, yeah, so I'll 
just tap them around and, and uh, I'll be back with that. Right, I'm going to use a uh, half round dolly and a small one. It's approximately the same uh, curve as the, the hood. Um, I've got a panel hammer. I mean, it's, it's a door skin hammer actually. Um, sedge here for doing door skins. But this side here is just a, um, a normal, normal hammer. It's smaller and that's what I wanted, a small surface to pound on. It's a bit dirty actually, so give it a quick clean. Get all that crap off it. All right, so I'm just gonna knock down those eyes. Like that, underneath. Mate, that's already better. A bit high here, but that's that's good there already. What I was doing, I was well, this is how I do it anyway. But like I said, the dolly, same shape, put it underneath that, right where the high spot is, and just like I just like and tap it. And I'm trying to force it back where I come from, which is there. put a skim over that little high there still just a little high spot there and yeah that took care of that just a little bit more Yeah, just going to put a little skim over that and that'll be good. All right, guys, so um, repaired, nice and straight. No dints there. Just got a skim on that. You can see the metal through that, actually. Um, come up good. Uh, this one up here, same. Nice and straight. Clean. It's ready for primer. All sanded, nice and smooth. Looks good. It's even got the sealed beam part on the top of it. There you go. All right, as I said earlier, these, all the lights for the headlights and all this have to go on here because there's no way of crossing back over here anywhere. You can't do it. We've looked into it and you can't go underneath this fender anywhere. They're just gonna be dangling down in the middle of the rail. Can't go on against the underneath of the engine because then you're gonna head you across over here. So this is the smartest way is up through here. And uh, this, this small section, is for this um, this headlight so that goes up to here we're gonna uh, tape all this up here and then you got this small this small one here has the uh, fan and the horn and then you got this one here um, fan and the horn sorry and then this one here is for the other side that'll cross over the radiator shell to the other side there and of course this is going to be neatened up here I'm not gonna just leave it there so yeah, looking good there. Next thing we're gonna do, the exciter wire. Gotta get the alternator all excited. And then the power wire for the alternator. Well, the wire that goes back to the fuse box. Gonna hook that up next. They both go um, uh, here and over here, behind here. So there you go, that'll be next. So I gotta put this in. It's a, it's a, uh, Three eighths, no, sorry, it's a quarter inch in it, Steve. That fitting's quarter inch, right? It's a quarter inch part, yeah. Because I've got to put this on, on the side of the engine block, on the big block, and if it goes on the side of the engine block, it hits the, the headers. So, so down there, you really can't see, but I'll point to it. You can just see the outline right there. If I go to screw this in here, 
uh, it hits this uh, the header. So I've got to going to this one here. I'm going to screw that into the block like that, and then this will fit. This will screw in from the bottom, and it'll be um, out of the way from everything. So essentially, it'll look like like that into the block down there, you know what I mean, right down there. So it'll come up like that and it'll be out of the way. It won't hit the header, it'll be it'll be pretty good. It'll be out there on its own. So number one, even if it did fit in sideways, this little fitting, this uh, um, electrical connection here would have been right on the header and it would have uh, probably melted. So that's what's happening next. I'm gonna fit that to the block, put that on, put that in, and then I can connect the wires to the bottom and uh, that'll be another job done. There's that oil presser switch on. All sorts of funky stuff going on in there to get that on there. It's on there though. Looks good. It's all uh, wired in. I don't know if you can tell, but down there, the brake light switches are wired in as well. Yeah, so there you go. Looking good. All right, today's warming up to be like something like in the 50s, so not bad, not bad at all. So I'm going to do, as you can see, you know, I've got the roll cage out here, and it is mounting the snow, which is good. So I've got some primer on, on a few repairs that I, I kind of like uh, repaired on this here, of, of this I wasn't happy with. So I'm just going to scuff that down, reprime it, put something underneath these like cardboard. Obviously, I'm not going to paint over uh, wetness, but uh, wait till it warms up a bit more, get it to at least 50. But it's definitely going to be 50. It's already warming up now. It's the morning still. So um, yeah, get that in some black and uh, let it dry a few days, a couple of days, and then uh, install it into the car. All right, I'm going to uh, paint this black. Give it a nice little coat of black.
All right, that's the first coat. Looks all right. Pretty much got everything. And I'll just go over it real quick with a top coat. But, uh, you know, looks all right for a roll cage. It came with the car. We didn't build it, but it had a few marks in it that I didn't like. And so we just cleaned it up and a few shitty welds, re-welded them. Steve uh, re-welded the, uh, the bottoms, bottom plates on it. Uh, they were uh, attached to the chassis with uh, bubble gum, so uh, now it's uh, pretty cool. So one more coat on that, and that's let it dry for a few days inside, and that's it. We'll be back. Oh, it's been about an hour. Give this another coat. Looks all right, actually. Nice. All right, I'll be back. All right, rattle can mastered beautiful nice and black looks good happy with that that can be bolted in once it dries yeah so there you go beautiful okay so we're gonna uh, okay where we're doing the wiring now in the engine bay area um, there was no real way of getting it from, we've installed that grommet. Uh, there's not real a, a lot of light there, but there's the grommet right there. There's not a lot of ways of getting that, that wiring for all the headlight and horn and indicators and high beam, low beam, all that sort of jazz stuff. From over there, across to here, you know, like across the body and then underneath the fender. So what we've opted to do, and I think it's the smartest uh, uh, way to do it, uh, just get this to zoom in is to go across the engine like a, like an LS harness or whatever would go we're going to pop it through here and the only uh, only distance we have to go is from underneath here so this will be this will be tucked up underneath here and it'll come out of this headlight and then the rear harness will go from that point underneath here underneath the between the grill shell and the inner fender here it'll travel through there up to this other headlight there'll be uh, these two wires, there's a there's a grey and a, a grey and this uh, there's another wire here. What is that other wire? Where is it? Uh, green. The grey, the grey and green wire will go in the same direction as the headlight harness for the other side and the horn and all that. It'll come in here. The horn will be mounted in here. The fan will be mounted here, like that. And obviously the headlights will come up underneath here and pop through here. So that's what we're doing next. Over here we have the fan switch that turns on the uh, engine fan. The fan switch is over there. That's gonna run on top of the engine as well, like that. And everything going through the firewall, which is already I've already sh uh, showed you guys that a few times, come through here. So everything is in that, what's that called again, Steve, sorry? Mm -hmm. What's that called again, that sheathing? Uh, oh, it's uh, just wire room. Wire sheathing. Wire sheathing, wire, wire sheathing and a, it looks neat. Um, and it's black and you really can't notice it. So yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Wiring, great fun. All right guys, we've done a fair bit on the 35 this week. Um, finished running the wire. We're just going to clip all this together. Um, somehow we'll probably bolt it to here. It's all uh, in the. Uh, it's all on the firewall there. It's hooked up to the alternator. Got that done. We've got the wiring coming up through. He's part of it. This is all just headlights now. That's a horn. Horn works. The other side here, we've done all this wiring uh, for the uh, temperature switch here. That's all done. This all comes down to here. It goes to the, um, the fan switch. And then there's a ground here that goes to the front for the fan. So the fan works now. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, we put the... Uh, Put the horn ring back on. 
fucking that thing's loud, man. Mm. Uh, horns on. Um, talk about the master cylinder in a minute. Set the roll cage in there. Now it's nice and painted. Now we got the switches all hooked up. Inhibitor switch and backup lights are all done. And here's an interesting uh, thing that we worked out this week. We had a uh, another master cylinder in there, and we for the life of us we couldn't get the. Uh, we got the brakes bled, but they were spongy, like wicked, wicked spongy. And uh, worked it out that the original master cylinder had a one inch bore. So we went out to a one and one eighth of an inch master cylinder and that was our problem. We didn't have enough. It's, oh, the pedal stroke was really long on it as well. That worked out really, really good. So now we've got, you know, we've got good brakes. Excellent brakes today, Steve. Like, good brakes. Um, shifters all connected. Everything's bolted on. The uh, roll cage is in. Like I said, all the wiring's done. Uh, the grill shell's been sent to get powder coated. So that's off to get powder coated. The cluster's still away getting all machine the fancy chrome sort of uh, surround for the cluster so once we get that back in we can put the wiring in uh, we even got solar power to the solenoid all that's all hooked up um yeah all the like i said all the wiring's all done in the back here all the head the tail lights work all that all the good stuff so it's really getting there and that's how the uh the uh, roll cage attaches there and there which is an integral part of the frame i reckon it'll make the frame stronger so that's it there and i'll just walk over here um headlight buckets are painted i painted the front uh the front of that uh vent i guess it's called um so headlight buckets all done finally so now we can go ahead and put the headlight buckets on the underneath of the the hood's all in primer and we've done a ton of other stuff we just got to get done but that's it uh, for this week on this car, but so glad they're done. Gee, we waited a while for them to get done, but they're done. So that's it. There's the Chevy. All right, guys, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So next week, next week we're going to start on the, on the 57 Chevy. This thing here, and you've seen it before. Um carbureted ls powered uh, 5.3 liter turbo 400 in this and it's steve i think from memory yeah um that's the one where we put the radiator in already um got it running and uh but the frame is no good so we're going to be taking the uh, dog house off get the dog house off it and then we're going to unbolt all the frame lift the body up in the air leave the body on the hoist while we do all that roll the frame out from underneath of it We've got another frame to go under it. We have to do a few modifications to the frame. The frame's basically, it's in the backyard and I'll show you that. So here's the frame here, uh, Ford nine inch. Um, it's got the uh, leaf springs uh, relocated already. We sandblasted the frame, got all that done. Um, so all sandblasted, all repainted. So we're gonna slip that out. The other one is this section here completely is bent down i believe oh that side there steve right yeah, about three uh where they done the section there it was only like an eighth of an inch and i'll show you that it was terrible well it was more than an eighth of an inch but it was terrible but this is getting a four nine inch in it we're swapping over the a frames and so forth the tupla a frames on that one there back over to here onto this one and uh yeah that'll be something different to do but that other frame it's tweaked it's rusty it's rusty in the front the horns are rusty um the other frame i'm talking about so we're gonna do a frame swap put the body back on it needs it needs body work tail pan it needs another tail pan on that and i'll show you next week anyway so but uh so be at the lookout for that and uh yeah all right guys please like subscribe hit the notification bell and uh i'll see you on the next one